This month, dinosaur lovers in the UK can come face to face with life-size reptiles at the Walking with Dinosaurs show. But don't panic, they're not real. Designers have aimed to make them ultra-realistic, but have they succeeded? We asked biologist John Hutchison. Well, what did I think of it? I, I think uh, it's, to put my grouchy scientist hat on, it has its good and its bad sides. Uh, in terms of the good, it's great entertainment. I think no one can really deny that, that it's impressive. The animatronics are very modern and, and gorgeous. The anatomy, scientifically, looks really good. It looks like what we think these dinosaurs looked like in general. Instead of going with your classic drab, gray-green dinosaurs, they put some variation in color, some splashes of bright color. These animals probably did have color vision, so why not give them some color? In terms of the bad, um, well, yeah, you could, you could quibble over the dinosaurs looking a little rubbery and stuff. They're not moving as fast as some of these dinosaurs, especially the smaller ones, might have done. Hutchison has his own computer models of how dinosaurs might have moved. This one is of the body of a T-Rex, seen from the side. It was created using real measurements from a relatively intact T-Rex skeleton. We had flesh because we don't know what, where, how much flesh there was outside of the skeleton, so we have to play around with it a bit. It's not a, a very exact procedure, but we can get very um, specific measurements of how much it weighed, whether it was front heavy or back heavy. We can use this kind of model to make those estimates. Hutchison's simulations incorporate what we know about how living animals move. This model of an ostrich running shows its bones in white and individual muscles in red. Simulations like this help inform dinosaur models such as this one of a T-Rex running. We can find the exact same muscle with a, a scar on the bone that corresponds to the scar that we see in a T-Rex pelvis on an ostrich. So we, um, we can see that there was basically the same muscle in the same place in a living bird and, uh, and a T-Rex, which helps us reconstruct the dinosaur's anatomy with some confidence. Hutchison recently worked with animators to create this simulation called Be the Dinosaur. By recreating the environment where T-Rex would have lived, they hope to educate museum goers about life in the Cretaceous. Plants, the, uh, the landscape, the animals, even the little tiny animals, insects and stuff, are all based on real fossils that we know are of animals that existed 65 million years ago alongside T-Rex. We have a realistic depiction of, of their environment, and then you get to run your dinosaur around that environment, and, and get a feel for what it was like to be the dinosaur in that virtual environment. It's not a computer simulation with all the physics involved, but there, there's enough science there that we can say, well, this is a pretty good rendering. Although walking with dinosaurs will appeal to those looking to be entertained, Be the Dinosaur will provide a more informative approach. And since it's a traveling exhibit, it could be coming soon to a museum near you.